Hi, I'm Hazel, and this is 5 Good Reasons Why You Need the Underlight Angler in WoW and How to Go About Getting One. Even if you hate fishing with the core of your being and you vowed to never cast a line in your life, it's worth sucking it up for a day or two to get yourself Legion's Artifact Fishing Rod. Here's why. Number 1. Water walking anywhere. Indoors, outdoors, if you ever needed to roleplay a shaman or act out a biblical scene, the Underlight Anglers got you covered. Water walking is of course great to have for fishing, but it's also handy for taking the occasional shortcut. The angler's fishing raft could water walk you also, but not everyone has the patience to grind the anglers up to revered. Number 2. Underwater World Quests Now this the fishing raft can't do. The Underlight Blessing trait of the Artifact Fishing Rod turns you into a shark underwater with a bonus 150% movement speed and unlimited underwater breathing. When it comes time to collect crates, zap kraken eggs, or activate pylons in Suramar, that is priceless. This is the best swimming buff in the game. It's better than Druid's aquatic form, it's better than sea turtles, and it's better than that freaky new Cosmoth mount. Equip your Underlight Angler after unlocking Underlight Blessing, and you'll be zipping way ahead of all those other suckers looking for crates off the broken shore. Number 3. Swim speedily to and in underwater instances. That shark form is good for more than just world quests. WoW is filled with places where you gotta get from point A to point B, and there's just all this blasted water in the way. Naltharian's Lair has at least two rooms accessible only by water, and if you're running older dungeons, there's one in Black Fathom Deeds as well as Zuldrak. My favorite is swimming down that huge pipe in Zangarmarsh to get to Serpentrine Caverns and the other Reservoir Dungeons. The Underlight Blessing works anywhere in the world, not just the Broken Isles. Number 4. Faster fishing gets you gold. Okay, maybe you really don't want to fish, and that's cool, I get that. But if you do decide to fish a little because you like gold, you gotta have the Underlight Angler. You can rank up trades to boost your fishing of specific kinds of fish in the Broken Isles, letting you pull up entire barrels of them at once. That barrel pulling sound is satisfying. You'll also pick up extra Bloods of Sargeras, which of course you can trade for goods to sell. The fish themselves are holding value exceptionally well this expansion, and on my server I can often get up to 15 gold each for the right kind of fish. You can even use the undercurrent spell every 5 minutes to teleport to the next fishing pool. When I'm completely fried from life and I want to just take 20 minutes to really chill out and wow, going fishing is just the thing. Number 5. Fashion. This is obviously the most compelling reason, and if you weren't already sold, you are now. Look at this thing! It's a work of art! You will look exceptionally cool swinging this thing around, and you will have what you need to take the most majestic WoW fishing screenshots for your desktop wallpaper. Now that you've decided you need an Underlight Angler, here's how to get it. Step 1. Train fishing. Maybe you've already done this, I don't know your life. Put the fishing button on a comfy keybind, and go turn on your game sound while you're at it. Step 2. Go buy bait. Clear up some bag space and head to the auction house. You're going to need a big list of some very specific bait. Here's your shopping list. Pause the video, sit down at your auction house, and buy one to two of each one. Don't stress out if you can't buy them all, just get as many as you can. None of these should be outrageously expensive, so if someone wants 500 gold or more for a piece of bait, just skip it. Step 3. Arcane Lures Along with buying bait, this is technically optional, but we're trying to save time over here. You want to pick up a few arcane lures from the auction house, or you can get them from Conjurer Margos. Check the auction house price for arcane lures while you're there, but if they're more than like 100 gold each, we can just pick up our own. You'll need a few drowned mana to buy them from Conjurer Margos, so go fly over to his island if you still need them. Join a fishing group in the group finder and fish in his pool for the drowned mana you need to buy a couple of lures. Three lures is a safe bet if you manage to buy most of your bait. If you feel like you're missing a lot of bait, maybe get like 5 to 7. Step 4. Track bigger fish to fry. Open up your achievement pane and track the bigger fish to fry fishing achievement. You can search for them now, how cool is that? Then pick a zone, find a couple of fishing pools, use your first piece of zone appropriate bait and start fishing. With the bait up and fishing from a pool, you should get the rare fish that you need pretty quickly. Keep fishing for the duration of the bait and then use all the rare fish to throw them back in and boost your fishing skill. You'll need to get up to fishing skill 800 before the end of this so you may as well make good use of your bait. If you couldn't buy some of the baits, use an arcane lure while you're fishing in that bait zone to help you pull one up yourself. Doing a quick wow head search of the bait name or fish that you're missing from your achievement is the best way to figure out which zone that is. Each type of bait will get you a specific type of rare fish that you need for the achievement. Some of the baits are straightforward apply and fish, while others are fancier. Quite a few of them summon a dude after a few minutes who puts the bait buff on you, and some of them summon a dude who drops the bait that you really need. The Ancient Vrykul Ring and Rusty Queen's Fish Brooch allow you to see pools that drop exclusively that rare fish. With those, use the thing and then go look for the rare fish pools. 
The sleeping murloc from Suramar summons a friendly NPC who runs around dropping fish on the ground. Do that on a clear patch of land and then run over the fish on the mount to pick them up. Last, the stunned angry shark cannot be bought and must be fished up yourself from ocean shore pools. There's a good use of an arcane lure. After you catch it, you have to use it within one minute or it deletes itself. Use the item on land ASAP and then kill the shark that spawns for your sea bottom squid. Work through all of your bait until you've caught every rare fish and completed bigger fish to fry. If you're groaning about the prospect of that much fishing, just do one zone each day and you'll be done with minimal stress by the end of the week. Step 5. More fishing. Shocking. To trigger the next step, you need to have bigger fish to fry, be level 110, and have 800 fishing. Luckily, all those rare fish that you've been catching this entire time grant you 5 skill each when you toss them back, so keep that up until you're capped out. Once you've met those three criteria, log out for at least 10 minutes. Go get a cup of tea or hug your dog or something. Then, log back in and fish from any pools in the Broken Isles to catch the Luminous Pearl. The logout should technically be unnecessary, but I found it's a great way to trigger that pearl drop. The Luminous Pearl starts a short questline that rewards you with your Underlight Angler. I highly recommend reading the quest text as you do the questline. Dadgar in particular is super funny. Now that you've got your Murloc Skelly Rod, those rare fish will grant you 50 artifact power to your angler. Sadly, no amount of order research will buff that. Spend that artifact power for points at the globe over the Dalaran Fountain for traits, much like you do with your regular artifact. Absolutely go for the Underlight Blessing first. That swim speed will change your life. Then, if you like gold and you want to dabble in fishing, prioritize buffing whichever fish sell best on your server. If you never want to see a fish again, you can just be done with it. Congratulations! You can now swap on your Underlight Angler to shark it up whenever you need to. Keep it on an action bar off to the side or dedicate a specific bag slot so you can find it quickly when you want to. All praise the Skeletal Murloc and may he never get nerfed. Thanks for watching! Let me know what you think. Please consider leaving a like if you liked it and have a wonderful, wonderful day.